Imagine you're on an island in the middle of the Pacific. This island is clean, untouched, and beautiful. It's just you, the white sand beach, the beautiful setting sun, and the swaying palm trees. Now, let's fast forward 60 years. You're not really alone on this island anymore. It's now covered in tons of trash. This island here is Henderson Island. It is a set-aside breeding island in the middle of the Pacific that has been covered in over 18 million tons of trash. In 2019, a team of researchers went to inspect the wildlife. When they approached the island, they also found a, an overload of waste. These once white sand beaches are now multicolored because of material that never really decomposes. They just break down into smaller microplastics and release many harmful chemicals into the air that harm us humans and animals. Over three million animals and humans die from plastic each year. We can compare this to an, we can compare this to an overflowing sink. What are you going to do first? Turn off the tap, right? That is why we have to cut the supply of plastic into the ocean off at the root before we start to clean the water. There are four places that plastic can end up. In the ocean, in a landfill, on the side of the road, or hopefully in a recycling plant. If they end up in the ocean, they are often consumed by animals and who will either die from intestinal blockage or, or starvation, or they enter the food chain and eventually end up in us humans. If, when they end up in landfills, they are often burned, which release many harmful chemicals into the air, like dioxins, furines, mercury, and polychlorinated bifills. You definitely have no clue what any of those things are, but I can assure you that they are very harmful to us. They also pollute the soil when decomposing, which leads into our plants. They harm our air cycle by when the water in the ocean is evaporated and they are either transported by wind or rain down into our fields, which infect our crops. These plastics cause many harmful things to us humans like obesity, cancer, developmental delays in children, reproductive harm, organ issues, and many harmf other harmful things. It is a necessity that we move to more sustainable options like using reusable straws or a reusable water bottle, even switching to barred soap like face wash or conditioner, shampoo, and of course body wash, and even just using a reusable container for your lunch. Be part of the solution, not the pollution.